welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we're having a look at the Blanton's Gold. And here in Europe, it is becoming really, really, really a rare, rare bottle. Reflecting the price today uh, in the uh, whiskey.com Netherlands shop, we have it at around 130 euros. So, whew, huge price. I can remember that was lot 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 less with uh, just yeah, half a decade ago or maybe a decade ago it was really really selling for much much lower prices although the plant blanton's gold is a bit of the higher one there are more blanton's out there and yeah all of the blanton's come from single barrels so this is the single barrel of um the buffalo trace or the more ancient people of you, the ancient, ancient distillery. And it's in honor of Colonel Albert Blanton. Yeah, and Colonel uh, doesn't mean he was a military guy. It is Kentucky, and in Kentucky, you can be a Colonel without um, being in the army, because you then become yeah, a civilian Colonel. It's just a, a decorate, um, it, it's an honorary title for someone who really stands behind the Commonwealth of Kentucky. So I think, what's a KFC guy? I think Colonel Sanders. I'm not quite sure if he really served in the army, but um, he is also a Colonel. Yeah, so, and he was really a horse guy. There are a lot of horse guys in Kentucky. Kentucky has a few things for that state. One is the Kentucky Straight Bourbon, and the other one is horse racing. So he was really, really into horse racing. So this is um, a bottling for him. And you have here the horse racer on top of the... Um, Blanton's bottle and they're not all the same of the horse races you have I think what is it seven letters in Blanton's uh, or I'm not quite sure if they take the s with with those um, and they have the the stages of the horse race where you have the uh, the start and then something something and they, I think at one point there is the whip and, and then you have the finish and then you have the, uh, I think the run out or something like that where they get become slower yeah so and all the stages are marked with letters and you start with the B L A N and yeah obviously you have the N twice so you have to arrange it but the Blanton's the other one is really near the finish so you can easily identify which one so if you buy enough Blanton's then you can set the horse race in your in your cabinet with the empty or full bottles yeah so um yeah so yeah that is it let's open the wax seal and yeah it is so restricted here over in europe uh we restrict it to our club members so only people who buy the whiskey.com or whiskey.de club can actually buy the bottle because it's yeah it became that exclusive over here in europe not quite sure how it is over in the United States. If you live in the United States, write down in the comments if it is also that restricted and expensive in the States or if that is just an import thing for yeah, Europe. Oh, it's a bit of a, a stronger bourbon. It doesn't have, it does have the, the bourbon touch to it. A little bit of a vanilla, a little bit of a caramel, but it has a, a good amount of a oak spiciness and also a bit of fruitiness in there so you have the the typical bourbon apples caramel vanilla sweetness combined with a lot of oak a lot of spiciness and a bit of chocolate so i'm not quite sure how they do that uh, they have probably a longer maturation than the than the normal short bourbons but yeah they do have a, a distinctive strong touch to it i think they are also uh, pretty high in strength so this is i think oh 51.5 percent abv that is also quite a lot hmm 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 
really have the strength in there. You could do a bit with um, water in there because it's that strong. But I do like it today. Mm, it's really, really, mm -hmm. it has something of oh, a really spicy touch to it. It feels like, uh, what is that? Like one of these spicy gingerbreads that you get at these yeah, old town markets and mm, mm, like, like cloves and chocolate and oh, mm, a little bit of a, a dried fruit note in there as well. No, it's strange if you have that, you have a dried fruit note without any cherry dark wines or something like that. Mm. 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 What's also really nice is that you have um, the bottles are um, individual uh, numbered. Here you have the barrel number, you have the rick number uh, and you, oh, stored in warehouse number. Mm -hmm. It's just a hashtag, or is that? I think that's an 11. And you have the uh, whiskeys when it was dumped, so when the cask was emptied. Uh, strangely enough, that is an American uh, date, so it's a bit strange to us. And then you even have the individual bottling number. So this is really, uh, the Blanton's is really an individual bottle from the um, distillery. So be aware, if you have, uh, single cask they might turn out differently so not all the blendings taste the same you have differences and variations from different warehouses from different um especially from heights and warehouses i think they kind of kind of tier tend to keep that the same so they have the same kind of flavor profile in there otherwise it would fluctuate a lot if you take one from the bottom one from the top it would really taste a lot different so they take it from the sweet spots of the warehouses and keep that level the same to keep the the taste fairly constant but with single barrels you do have a bit of variation be aware of that yeah so yeah that was it with the balanton's gold thank you very much for watching and see you next time <music>